you're probably here because you want to make data packs. You already know how to set up the folder structure, but you're not exactly sure the practices to put in place to make your data packs as efficient as possible. In this video, I am going to show you... Hello, sheep. I'm going to show you how to optimize a data pack and make it as efficient as you possibly can. And I am going to test and optimize this little data pack I made that turns you into an Enderman. When you take damage, you will get teleported and you will get the blindness effect. You will also get permanent speed and night vision. I've got a brand new Discord server. It's like one or two weeks old, brand new, you should join. You should also subscribe. It is the absolute best way to help me out, grow my channel, help me take over YouTube. Don't forget to leave a like and also comment. It can, you can literally comment anything. The more video engagement I get, the more my video will spread across YouTube and the infection will grow. <clears throat> These are the functions that are responsible for making the data pack. Now, it's in a little bit of an untraditional setup because I'm making it easy for you to see everything that's going on without having to switch files. So let me go over the syntax real quick. This first unindented line will be the actual function. So this will be the file. So under weapons init, this is all of these indented will be commands except for this top one here which is the tags of which the function is a member so this will be part of the load tag minecraft colon load the one the tag that runs the function upon world load or when the slash reload command is used and then everything else will be the commands so under this init function we have one command which is to create a scoreboard called enderman dot damage taken so this is a scoreboard that just tracks how much damage the player has taken and this is minecraft custom minecraft damage taken now under the main function which is going to be running 20 times per second under the tick tag we have the rest of these commands now all of these commands are just running constantly and you can see I have conditionals here to only choose specific players to run these commands for. And it works fine, but it can be done so much better and in a much easier fashion. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Step one, running the commands that don't need to be run every tick, running them on a slower loop, say, once every second or so these first two commands here only need to run like every five or ten seconds because they have they are la the effect lasts for 10 seconds so what we can do is we can create a new function and i'm just going to do that here by doing function weapons colon main and i'm going to call it main 1s so i'm going to run this every one second it's not going to run every tick so every every 20 times that this main function runs this one will run once and i am going to run call this function from the init function so i'm going to do function weapons colon main 1s 1s now under here i can put both of these commands Let me copy that now you can actually do even better here this is more so true if you have more than say three commands for two it it's not really necessary especially if you are actually using the files and you have to create a new file and put commands in it in this case i don't have to i'm going to show you how to do it so take these two commands and isolate them under their own function. So what you can do is you can remove one of the conditionals and then remove the other. So in this case, I'm going to execute as all of the Enderman. And because these commands don't require a location, I can get rid of this at at S. And then I'm going to run function 
weapons coal so i just realized that i called this weapons by accident because i was meaning to make a different data pack and i changed it last minute so i am going to rename this here real quick i'm going to rename that to enderman so now we're going to run function enderman colon effects and under this i'm going to use another indent but this will be its own separate file so now you have one conditional that runs two commands because when a function is executed it keeps its executor context this as so all players with a tag of enderman who run this function it will know exactly which player to give those effects to at s is saved for every command in the function so i can get rid of these two here next we have a whole bunch of commands here that all have the exact same conditional which we can also condense into their own function so the same as before you can remove the conditionals for all of the commands except for the first one and then you run the specific function from that so enderman colon ability And then I'm going to indent all of these to show that they're in their own separate function. And I need to get rid of these here as well. So now, all players who have the score of Enderman damage taken greater than one will run all of these commands. And then, this at the end, I can get rid of this turn that to at s and put that in this function as well which indicates that once all of these have been executed reset the player's score to actually make the slow loop function a slow loop i forgot to mention this you need to reschedule it so you do use the schedule command which schedules a function for a given interval and you make it schedule itself and so it will keep rescheduling itself so schedule function enderman colon main 1s for one second and then replace there's re append and replace replace will replace the function if it's already scheduled and append would add a new schedule reload you'll see i get the effects again and it keeps getting reset every second and if i take damage i will teleport just like before it's just a bit cleaner more optimized and if you have really big data packs this practice will be extremely helpful and be an important part of your data pack making process also it looks like i didn't make the effect long enough because i'm getting the blindness uh the night vision flashing but that might just be my shader pack doing that so prematurely 